Marcus, uh, I'm not sure if there's anything left to say, right? <laughs> it's really been a, a long career, as, I, as Marcus has said. I've been involved in nutrition for a long time. And what makes me excited about partnering with Kivana right now is that it really is a systems approach. We have discovered some new things, but it's not a magic pill, as he said. It's something that has to fit into a whole lifestyle. And we've developed that, and I look very carefully for a place and a company that would be able to support that kind of, of approach. I've taken it to some companies before, and they said, well, if you're not going to promise 30 pounds in the first two weeks, we're really not interested. If you're not on American Idol, if you don't have a picture we all know, we're not interested. I said, but it works. That's not relevant. <laughs> well, I think it is. I think health is what is relevant, and I think that's what we're all about here. The metabolic lifestyle is the term we've used because it really is about changing metabolism. If you look at the field of weight loss right now, basically it's about the pathology of being fat. People study fat. They study adipose tissue. They study fat tissue. And you learn about what's already wrong. What we want to do is learn about what you're supposed to do. We want to learn about the physiology of good health and studying muscle. What we're going to be able to do with this system is to, as Justin said, restart, recharge your metabolism. We're going to reset your metabolism back to your 20s. We're basically going to change your muscle back to muscle metabolism, which is where you were in your 20s. Wow. I need that. We're going to do that. <laughs> We're going to reignite the metabolic furnace in your muscle. Your muscle is what's supposed to burn calories in your body. It's not about restricting calories. It's not about all sorts of fancy things you do. It's about making your muscles do the work they're supposed to. And it's not just during exercise. It's all day long. It's while you're sleeping. That's what we're going to reset. And once you do that, then you don't have to worry about fat. Fat is just simply going to go away. What happens on this diet is absolutely amazing. You're not going to see 20 pounds in two weeks, but you're going to see two pounds per week. You're going to see two pounds every week. You're going to see a body change that you can't quite expect. Your clothes are going to fit differently almost immediately because it takes the fat from your abdomen. It takes it around the <laughs> sort of interesting. Basically, muscle is that metabolic fuel. When I was early in my career, I had the opportunity to do a lot of nutrition in, in poor countries in Africa, and I learned about malnutrition. And one of the things I learned very quickly was protein really was the key to health. If you want lifelong health, it really is related to protein. And protein gives you that muscle mass, it gives you the structure, it gives you the bone mass of your body. What we also learned was we were doing that is that if you lose weight quickly, like starvation, as we saw in some children or even adults, and regain it quickly, what you lose is all muscle and what you regain is all fat. And that's what's wrong with the diets in the population right now. They gear for quick weight loss. They're called yo-yo diets. I think that's because of what the name we should call people who do it. But basically, as you lose protein on the way down with the weight loss, you lose all muscle mass, and on the way up, you gain all fat. After two or three cycles, you're worse off from having done it. We're going to change your body composition once and for all. The other thing what we learned is that as you do this, basically the, the worst diet in the world is high carbohydrate and low protein. We go into these malnourished children, and that's what makes them sick. We even have a name for it. It's called Quatuor Core. It's a child who hasn't have enough protein and too many carbs in their life. That's what got us on the track. We've gone on from there and we've begun to learn about athletes. Again, we know athletes is based around your body muscle, its performance, its recovery, but that's the same for you and I. You don't have to be an elite athlete. Muscle is the secret to health. You hear about heart disease and you hear about cancer, but the majority of Americans live to past, 80, uh, past 60 years of age and once you get to 60, you die from disability. You don't die from heart disease. 
A few people do. You don't die from cancer. A few people do. The majority of people die from falls. Hospitalization due to disability and lack of mobility. We're going to correct mobility. That refuels, resets your metabolism, and that corrects your body composition. Yeah. One of the things that's also in that list of myths is that adults don't really need protein. This is a concept that on the surface seems pretty logical, that, well, children need protein because they're growing, obviously. They're making more protein, right? We learned that protein is good for building body proteins, strong bones, all that sort of stuff. It turns out that adults actually need more protein than children. A 60-year-old person at the same body weight needs more protein than a 16-year-old does. And the reason is that our bodies become a little less efficient. Most of the protein you make in your body per day is repairing, remodeling, and rejuvenating your body. It has nothing to do with growth. And as we get older, we have to do that repair, remodeling, rejuvenating even more. That's the key to the protein story. Adults need the protein. And children are very efficient with it. Adults get a little less efficient. So the quality of the protein becomes very important. We have structured this diet around the kind of quality of protein you need. The timing of protein becomes very important to adults. Not very important to children, but the timing becomes critical. The lifestyle is structured around timing. Let me tell you a little about how we discovered this. This is really the breakthrough, and this is really from my research lab. We refer to it as the story of leucine. How many of you ever heard of leucine? Well, there are a few. It's good. That's probably because of something I already wrote. <laughs> <laughs> leucine is one of the amino acids. There are 20 amino acids that are naturally occurring that we need in our bodies every day. Nine are called essential amino acids because we can't make them. Some we can make, some we have to eat. Leucine is one of those nine essentials. And we all grew up sort of knowing that amino acids, these proteins, when we eat protein, we're really trying to get those amino acids, and they're building blocks for our body. Whether it's building proteins or enzymes or your bones, it's all based on protein. What we have discovered about 10 years ago is that one of these amino acids, leucine, is absolutely unique. It's absolutely unique as a metabolic signal. Just like in your brain where there's metabolic signals, there's neurotransmitters and things like that, the signals in your body are driven heavily by leucine. I'll tell you a little bit more about it, but it's a very unique signal, and this is a breakthrough discovery. What we now know is that when you're balancing your diet, particularly during weight loss, but for adults in general, there's a unique balance between the protein in your diet, leucine, and the carbohydrates in your diet, which translates into insulin. So protein and carbohydrates are a very important balance. You heard Justin mention the word balance in the products. These products have been ideally balanced to meet these kinds of requirements. And nobody else gets this. This is what I do in my spare time. <laughs> I am actually yeah. an academic, and so I do boring things like this. Oh, gosh. We invented a whole bunch of that pathway. So just like the, the brain and all of the things that go on in your brain and, and how it works, the signaling here goes on in your muscles. There will be a test later, so I'm sure you get this down. <laughs> You don't need to remember anything about this in particular, but what it says up at the top is there's a balance between insulin and there's a balance between leucine in your body. When you're young, this system is driven by hormones.